first month that we're actually doing our group coaching session. So you're joining us for the very first session for 2023. At Braintree, our vision is to create these sort of safe communities for professional growth across the globe. And <laughs> we've got global representation here today. So you're here because you're part of those communities. So we thank you for trusting us. And we really want to help enhance your professional development. That's what we do at Braintree. Now, please let me introduce Florian. Florian is our guest speaker this evening. And Florian is a certified executive coach and a business mentor. He's got 20 years, more than 20 years experience in the Silicon Valley, where he co-founded several companies. He grew up in Austria, where he worked in um, software engineering and served as a multimedia expert for Apple. He has a PCC certification from the International Coaching Federation and an SP accreditation from EMCC Global. He served as a vice president of the San Francisco ICF chapter and is on the faculty of Positivity Global Coaching in Greece. He served as a marketing executive at Amazon A9 and multiple startup companies in Silicon Valley. He's an adjunct professor and senior instructor at universities in Austria, Germany, and at the University of California in Berkeley. Florian has been studying Zen med meditation, and he is a single dad of an 18-year-old daughter who's a freshman in college. He has a brilliant sense of humor. If you get a moment, I'm sure he'll share his, his humor in terms of our, our confusion with uh, our flags amongst Austria and Australia and the kangaroos or not so many kangaroos, <laughs> as I'm sure he'll tell you. Now, I'm also very, very grateful, as I'm sure everybody is, that it's 11 o'clock at night for Florian. So I really do want you to join me in making Florian feel welcome and appreciated. So it's my absolute honor and pleasure to welcome Florian to this evening's session. Over to you, Florian. Thank you so much, Cindy. Well, first, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and secondly, I'm so sorry to hear about your basement. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I understand that the rain has been relentless. We had that here a few weeks ago in California. Yeah. The things were swimming away. And uh, very often we have these situations where things are really, really stressful. And then the ability to take a deep breath mm. and to practice meditation is uh, something that we should practice more. And this is really what I would like to bring today. Mm. So many of you mark that your stress level is six or seven. So... Let's just find a moment to, let's just take a moment to breathe before we get started. I always put a little disclaimer. I think meditation is wonderful. Meditation is good for everybody except a few for whom it may be risky. So ultimately, it's your own decision. Cindy called the session meditation as your personal path to life. And it is a path to life. <clears throat> and I've been thinking... What is it really? Because for many of us, meditation is something that is maybe esoteric or difficult or depending, you've never done it before. Uh, maybe you're a novice with some experience or you have some done a few things, maybe set for hours or days. Or maybe you have an established practice. But no matter what, coming back to the beginning is so important. Especially when you ask yourself, so why should I do all this? And to realize, ultimately, meditation is good for nothing. That's not for me. That's from this, this Japanese guy from the 13th century. If we accept that it's good for nothing, then it's good for everything. It allows you to get to know yourself and to experience life. It increases your awareness and obviously also your mindfulness. But all this sounds very esoteric. But when you take it down 
to the very basics, to relax, to reduce anxiety, to reduce stress, and much, much more, even to quit smoking, if you're still smoking, or any other habits that you want to get under control. Just as you do it with no expectations. To practice no expectations is so important. Do you remember the last time you had a terrible headache and you tried everything? Only to realize the only way to deal with your headache is just give in. Close your eyes, lie down, make it dark. Maybe take some headache medication and just wait. Time moves faster when you don't. Every time you had to wait for something, doctor's office, for a train, something. The more often you look at your watch, the slower time passes. What the Americans call watching paint dry. So you maximize your benefits by not expecting any benefits. And this may sound contradictory, but like so many basic things in life, that's how these things are. Yeah. Um, and when you think about meditation it may sound difficult but look, anyone can sit so let's just sit and for those who have little experience it's always good to, re to uh, re uh, remember you can sit on a cushion on the, f on the floor or you can sit on a chair there's no reason you have to sit on a cushion if you don't want to but sit in the front, don't lean. And most important, make sure that you're stable, which means you have three points. You have your two feet on the ground and you sit upright. Don't sit in the bed, the sofa, recliner, crouch somewhere. Uh, and don't sit on the ground without a cushion because then you cannot get your knees to the ground. And we see so many pictures of people with their knees up. You can try it. You will always wobble a little bit. And you will need your muscles, especially the muscles in your belly, to keep uh, st stability. And then you can't let go. And focus on these two directions. To be upright, both in your body and in your spirit. No need to stretch. Just... upright, and feel the groundedness. It does help to take off your shoes, especially when you wear um, high heels or something, to feel the ground, to feel where you are, and to breathe. It's so interesting. I work as a coach, and <clears throat> I tell people, don't forget to breathe. And they say, well, of course I'm breathing. Come on, I'm alive. And the next time we meet, he says, you were right. I caught myself so often that I forgot to breathe. Although it's the most normal thing in the world to breathe. And the meditation I would like to practice with you is just, just sitting and breathing. There's nothing else. Because meditation is a body experience and a mind experience. You want to have this stable posture. We talk about, you know, stools with three legs are stable. Things with four or five legs usually wobble. You want to be upright. You don't want to be in a bed. Is it all in your head? Yes, of course it's in your head. Yeah? And you will tell me, oh, I can't stop my thoughts. Don't stop your thoughts. You want to be alive. Yeah, Thoughts stop when you're no longer alive. But you don't have to hold on to them. You don't have to invite them for tea. Think of them as flower, uh, as uh, clouds. They come, they float by. And don't force your thoughts. What you can do is you can count your breath. One, two, you all the way to ten. When you're at ten, you start again at one. Why? Because we don't want to win. Oh my God, I made it to 300. I made it to 325. That's not the point. I will repeat that later again. What I like about meditation is you cannot get better. Nobody will count it. Congratulations. 
you pass the first class, you will be at the next level. You can't get a black belt in meditation. You're always a beginner. And that's wonderful. I watched a video recently with the Dalai Lama who said, I'm a student. I'm a student of practice. And people said to him, come on, aren't you a little bit old to be a student? I had to th think about that when I had a sticker of the um, um, learning, dri learning to drive for my daughter in the car and people, and I used the car and people went, aren't you a little bit old to learn to drive? People make assumptions. Don't move. This is hard. But yes, it helps. It helps with focus. It helps with attention. But at the same time, respect your body. If it hurts, move. Change your position. And make sure you feel your body. All the parts. I would like to invite you to a five-minute meditation. And I believe that guided meditation where I tell you what to think, it's a little bit like mind control. And you may not even want to think what I'm telling you. Why should you? you have your own thoughts. So I will just give a few suggestions. But overall, I believe it's very powerful to just sit and breathe. We have to... Close your eyes. Don't look at the screen. The best is not to close your eyes completely. Just have a soft view about a meter in front of you. When you close your eyes completely, you disconnect yourself from the world. Breathe in and breathe out. You don't need any music. You don't need any lotus flowers floating around. You don't need any dancing Buddhas. It's just you. Just sit and breathe. Observe the tension in your shoulders. Mm. As you feel the soles of your feet touching the ground and the structure of whatever you sit on, to have this connection. And feel your uprightness in your demeanor in the way you experience the world. You can keep your hands in your lap. Beyond that, there's no need to do anything.
as your thoughts float away, just come back to breathing. Thank you. How was it for you? Was it too short or was it too long? I had to pay a little bit of attention. Last time I ran over. Maybe you thought, oh, I never could do that. Or it's interesting. Or... Maybe it's a new aspect of meditation practice that you already have. Or you say, nah, no. Even that I invite you to try it again. And if it's absolutely not for you, feel free to reach out and we can talk about it. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Too short, too long? All of the above, we don't have to do that. Ooh, this is wonderful uh, to sit there. It's funny. Huh? Curious side note. The castle that you see there is in Austria. The one on the right. The left one probably in Tibet. And who the guy is, I don't know. This may be much more us in the office. Because we can sit in the office. But you don't have to be so uncomfortable with the guy in the chair. And you don't have to hold your hands in a weird way. It's perfectly fine to sit in your office chair with your feet on the ground. Or on a chair like this. No need to do that. Looks very impressive, but... Just keep your hands in your lap. It's about you. It's not about performing something. If you enjoy sitting on the floor, 
that's fine. But either way, it's helpful if you organize yourself a little way, uh, bit the way you enjoy sitting. This may be in your office. Just turn the swivel chair around to the wall. This may be a corner in your room. But as humans, we're animals of habit. And to have a place that invites you to find yourself is very, very powerful. You can have a candle if you want to, don't have to. You want some incense, have some incense. Don't want to have some incense, fine. If you think it's all wishy-washy, no need to do that. Does it help? Yes, it helps. But above all, it helps what you need. This is the meditation corner of my daughter in her college dorm. She sent me a picture. She took her pink zafu with her. I'm very proud. I made it myself. So what about this thing? How long do we sit? For five minutes, for 10 minutes, for 15. I always say you should sit for 20 minutes. And if you can't do 20 minutes, you should do 40 minutes. And people laugh. But uh, I find the easiest way is when you meditate and you imagine, that's it. You will never, ever do anything else. But the rest of ever and ever, you will just sit there. You remember we spoke about the fact that how painful it is to watch paint, uh, paint dry, uh, watch, looking at the clock all the time. I, look, I experienced it myself. I'll never forget the very first time I went to a meditation retreat for five days. It was in Vienna many, many years ago. Five days. Can you imagine five days every day sitting? The first four days, I thought about one thing and one thing only. How can I get away from this place without totally embarrassing myself? On the fifth day, it was I was sad that it was over. It's all about the way we perceive it. That's why in Zen we have this circle. Yeah? Because ultimately, the end comes back to the beginning. Because there is no end. So are there guaranteed results? You sit once and that's it. And then you're going to be floating and being amazing. Remember, we talked about the headache. So no, it takes time. And it's not about enlightenment and this totally amazing feeling that is the guy who started the meditation center in San Francisco was asked by a young student, oh my God, I, I feel so amazing. I'm, I'm so happy. Meditation makes me so elated and, and wonderful. And he said to her, don't worry, it goes away. Yeah. It's not about that. It's really about just sitting. So I'm sure you saw this. What about all those apps? Yeah. There's so many headspace and calm and aura. And, and they offer you all sorts of things. And this can be wonderful. If you can't sleep, if you need uh, um, some sound, calm your anxiety, reduce your stress, these things can be very helpful. Sometimes it's just nice having somebody reading you a story. I still read goodnight stories to my daughter when she comes back for a, a break from college. It's wonderful. It's wonderful for me. It's wonderful for her. It can be wonderful to have the sound of rain as you fall asleep. And if it comes from your iPhone, it comes from your iPhone. It's fine. But I believe ultimate meditation is about you and only you, and you don't need any apps. And if you really want an app, I found these two. The one is for the iPhone, the other one is for Android, depending on what type of phone you have. Uh, all it does is 
it plays a bell. And after the time that you set, it plays again a bell. And that's all you need. I got asked recently in a meditation class, so what about music? Why is there new music? It's radical. Especially when you're used to somebody jabbering along and there's music and their little pictures. But sometimes less is really better. So how do you deal with your thoughts, with your emotions, your boredom? Just let it sit. Pain? Absolutely. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. If your knees hurt too much, change your position. If it itches, maybe you just wait. If it's tingling and you have this little scratch, you can just wait. It's not going to hurt you. And the experience when you wait and you don't scratch and it goes away by itself is absolutely amazing. The same thing with distractions. No, you don't have to have a room that is completely quiet. You may be with family, the kids play in the other room, somebody is screaming, somebody is on the phone. I invite you to San Francisco. Every three minutes, you have police sirens and... Uh, a uh, fire truck driving by. It's part of it. It's as much part of it as a bird singing or some animals wrestling outside. So what is it good for? We said nothing. So practicing without this intention that I want it to do something for me is the most powerful way. Try to get it to a point where it's your habit. Think about brushing your teeth. You don't think about it. If every morning you think, should I, should I not, should I, should I not, uh, you get nowhere. You just get up, you brush your teeth, you get a shower, you do the things yeah? on a regular basis. If you can do it at the same time, at the same place, it's good, but you don't have to. There is a body memory. So, I invite you to create the ritual that's right for yourself. Don't forget to be upright. Don't force it. And if you just say, that's what I do, because yes, you, we know that, that brushing your teeth is important for, for, for hygiene. But in the morning when you get up and you think about something else, that you're running late, you don't think about the health benefits of brushing your teeth. Just, just brush your teeth. Oh, by the way, if you're running late and you say, how can I fit in 20 minutes or the kids are screaming or whatever or your boss is calling? Sometimes just one minute. It's amazing. I've been in this situation because I work with coaching clients around the world, so sometimes I have coaching sessions at 6 in the morning. So it's hard to fit everything in and get up even earlier. But sitting for one minute, just to remind yourself, your mind, your body, changes your day. Practice daily, we talked about it. Um, 20 minutes is good. You can start with five or 10, but um, there was a, there's a lot of research being done. Again, one of those things. You can uh, see meditation in MRIs, but that's, unless you're a doctor, not very interesting, or a psychologist. Yeah? But you can start with less. And if you can't fit it in, try at least one minute. So I'm inviting you, if time permits, uh, Cindy, we can have another five minutes. What do you think? Should we do that? Great. I think everybody would love to. Yeah, wonderful. I hope the bells are okay, yeah? Perfect. Perfect. We've already been having comments on that, Florian, through. So I've told everybody, don't worry, we'll be able to include it in the email later so they can <laughs> all dong themselves into, into their Zen zones. <laughs> I'm going to let you carry on. <laughs> Thank you.
Let's let your shoulders loose. So keep your hands in your lap. This tension in your jaw. are going in through your nose and out again. Mm -hmm. Feel the ground under your soles of your feet, your connectedness. This line that goes from the center of the earth through your body all the way up to the next star. It's this uprightness that we bring into every aspect of life. those thoughts that come, oh, what do I need to do next? Should I do this? Should I do that? Nothing to float. Check your attention. The free flow of your breath.
thank you. I thought for a moment it would be tempting to just continue. But then I know that you may have some questions afterwards. I don't want to take that time. So we can sit anytime again. And I will be offering, uh, sitting together. What can we hold on? There is nothing. There's this famous quote by Cheng Yang Trungpa. There's nothing to hang on to. And there's no parachute. And it just goes on and on and on and on. But the good news is there is no ground. So especially when you're in this situation, you say, oh my God, why is this happening? You're falling, you're falling, you're falling. But there is no ground. And that's, that's good news. So we have some time for question and answer. And any question is good. Thank you for sitting with me. Thank you so much, Florian. Feel a million times better. Wonderful. We're getting some um, comments through on the chat box. I've shared that you. Uh... I just uh, I just want to thank Florian. It's really the, the best way to start the day. I don't know. I'm feeling <laughs> ready to Wonderful. go. It's I'm a so long, happy, long, <laughs> long day. Um, I just found just a, a remark. The second five minutes, I found it just went by so fat, much faster than the first. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, oh, is it over already? You know, like, <laughs> I guess, you know, I, I was a bit of a skeptic, as you know, we've had this discussion. We minutes. had this, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's why I was curious today to, 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 to be here. And also to see you, but yeah. um, to see you. I really think I'm gonna I'm gonna start kind of putting this into my daily practice. I'm gonna try and do that. See how I, it feels. See how it feels. Yeah, and it feels. I like the feeling today. I really did. Wonderful. Thank you. And it's yeah. often easier together. That's why I want to offer it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I will offer these this this time slot because. Not only because, uh, oh, he is there, I should be there as well, but also just to sit together is a different quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is anybody who spend time sitting together will tell you this is so interesting. Yeah. Even if you don't talk to the other people or you have no other contact, it's uh, like sometimes when you're daydreaming, mm -hmm. you know, like you catch yourself, you know, kind of flow it, floating. Uh, but this is a little more focused. I, I, the body is also more involved, whereas mm -hmm. daydreaming, it's more, you know, the mind. Here, you kind of, I think the, the body, the connection between mind and body is what I like. Is it uh, is a different one? Yes, mm -hmm. and we found uh, um, in uh, coaching, and the last session I did together with Cindy was really focused for coaches, yeah, to use uh, meditation as a modality in coaching is very, very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Because it allows people to give more, get more degrees of freedom. Yeah, that was good. I've done quite a few actually. Um, they're usually always in a room full of people and there's always pressure, you know, like you say, built one, built two, built three. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that I think you I think you change it. I, I think nothing. Yeah. I like that. I like nothing, and I like. Uh, I always try to find a, a mantra just to sort of say. And this time you didn't even say that, which is good. No mantras. Yeah. Yes, and it's, it's, yeah. it's so yeah. isn't it freeing? Yeah, don't have to do mantras. Don't have to do this. Don't have to do, that, have to do anything. Yeah. Look at the candle. Don't make. Don't don't put. Don't have any thoughts come through, and then you think. Yeah, pink please. No thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that. So that was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I must say, you got a Thank nice you. voice. You got a nice voice. Thank I feel you. I've actually got. Um, yeah, I think that I think your uh, long pauses, drawn out, Austrian accent. It's <laughs> 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 very, um, very. Uh, yeah, that's quite enjoying. So that's a, a strength that you have is to just let it. And you're not afraid of pauses. Anyway, that no, was good. Loved it. We have to. This is one of the big things. Yes, we are so afraid of pauses. And uh, we're so afraid of uh, of emptiness and of free space. Even got tingles. There you go. Oh, there you like go. That. Wow. <laughs>
It's amazing. Yeah. That was good. Thank Glad you. I joined. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Keisha's, uh, Keisha has four young children and um, she's saying that she won't talk because if she comes off mute, the, there'll be a lot of noise, I'm sure, will sort of fit, upset the bus. This is wonderful. This is but wonderful. Actually, this is energy. That is energy. But, you know, yeah. the power of the mind to be in amongst that environment and still be able to actually have that control over your mind and meditate and switch off from all of that noise going on around you, I think is such a powerful thing. She's really grateful to be involved. Keisha has also said it's perfectly explained. Wonderful. Looks Thank you, Keisha. Yeah. Does anybody else have any comments, thoughts, feedback? Love to know where you are. When we started out, we said, what are your stress levels? What number are you from one to 10? When we came out, we had sevens, mostly sevens. Seven, five, yeah. Yeah. So... And Maybe in the chat box. Down to, you're down to, down to zero now. <laughs> yeah, what does that look like for you now? I mean, I was racing. I was like, I had to say I was at an eight easily. And now I've got to say I'm probably at a one or a two, maybe zero. Wonderful. Thank you. Really good. Looking forward to my glass of wine around this time. So now I don't ah, think yeah. I need one. So <laughs> that's, not a good, that's not a good thing. I'm sort of looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, good. That's wonderful. Yes, I'm not going to have any wine anymore. It's a little bit late. Yeah. No, no, me. Oh, wonderful it's yeah usually, usually the time. Uh, just a final welcome to anybody else who'd like to share uh, any feelings or thoughts that are coming one requirement so chris is down to a two and i think um chris you were you were a seven so you've come down to a two that's amazing wonderful yes eva yes two take care of yourself what the effect you have on us florian so positive. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. Yes, that's amazing. I, I'm. I just finished convalescing, actually, and sitting here. I just. It's the first time I kind of forgot about my leg, <laughs> and yeah, just kind of focused on my breathing, and and I found that was very interesting because now that I kind of stopped for a while, and then I feel I have to move now a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Move a bit, yes. It's important That's for right. your leg, yes. But, yeah. So um, I hope it's getting speak, better, yes. Speaking of coaching, uh, before you mentioned that, I, I've used it on occasion when I, the client is is obviously cannot move on because he's very stressed or she's very stressed. But you know, uh, just very short, you know, like a couple of minutes, and it's been helpful. I noticed, so. I think the better you get at it, and I, everything needs practice. And I, I agree with you that you, you need to practice this and, and put it in, like you, you said, brushing your teeth. I think that it, um, it's quite powerful to use also in coaching and helping people. So uh, thank you. I, I found this very interesting, Florian. We never really... It's great seeing everyone from all over the world and meeting everyone. What's the biggest thing? that you took away today what's that biggest insight that you might have had and just while you're thinking about that I think for me in that session was noticing the sounds that were around me that I don't normally hear that was really powerful and being able to tune into that and focus on that was really able enabling the meditation and I think also you know that ability to shift into a moment and getting to know ourselves better that was something else and and you know talking about putting this into daily practice i think it's something that if we do this regularly it's it just becomes a habit mm -hmm. chris is saying everyone's a beginner no expectations just letting go it's great it's really embracing it it's amazing and i think you know when whenever we do these sessions there's a lot of planning there's a lot of preparation that goes into doing this and it's what we love to do and it's what we love to bring to our communities but you know our guest speakers put a huge amount of effort into bringing this as well it's it's um you know there's a lot that goes into getting things prepared getting this aligned with what your needs are and what we love to do is invite people just to maybe click on that link just leave a couple of words or a couple of messages just around what your experience was with this today your gratitude to Florian for 
his time, especially so late at night. We always like to express that. And um, I'm speaking, obviously, on behalf of the whole group here. Yeah, I loved your comment as well, Eva, that the second one went much faster mm. and um, and how it's a real body and mind connection. I thought that was really powerful. And uh, also that it's such a great start to the day. And I love the fact I'm obviously you've got, without, I don't know the details, but you've hurt your leg. And so to be able to take that mind away from the leg, such a powerful thing. The mind is such a healing organ and to take your mind away from concentrating on the pain, but to other things enables you that healing space, which I think is also really, really special. Yes. For me, that was really just kind of hit, uh, <laughs> hit home. Yeah. Just, I've been, mm. I've been, just started sitting more. And um, so I was conscious of that and like this really helped me. And like I said, uh, it's I just realized it's easy to do. I mean, F Florence been said, telling, saying that, but yeah, didn't believe him. <laughs> 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 and um, it just helps you to just let go and just focus on your breathing and your body and just your mind. Uh, thoughts did come in and went and, you know, I mean, it wasn't. But um, no, it was it was nice. It was great. Whenever we have our webinars, which we do every month, various different topics, either I'm gathering that you are a coach. So you might want to have a look on our site. We do a lot to support other coaches as well. We give something away. We always give something away at the end of our webinars. So what can we do here? And if you wanted to look out for any future webinars, of course, we're going to be Based on the feedback, we're going to be holding some of these meditation sessions without a doubt. So our um, webinars and podcasts page on our website will keep you up to date with the upcoming events that are happening. So you can just jump on there, click and, and enjoy whatever we have to offer you. Thank you all for coming. So with that, um, thank you all very much indeed for your time and for joining us. And um, thank you. again, Florian, thank you very much for taking us through such an insight. Thank you so much. Dankeschön, Frau Stopoli. Thank you.